Here's another quick net force problem. It's not too bad. We basically just got a triangle of particles here, separated, and then we have this other particle, B. This one's positive, these two are negative. We're really asked to figure out uh, what would distance D be, this capital D, if the net force on A was zero. And so we have to figure out what are all the forces that are working on A. And we're gonna assume that these ones are attracting forces in this direction, in this direction. All right, I'll even put them here just for fun. But then we also have the other one, the green, which is counteracting this, and it's pushing in this direction with about the same magnitude that those two are pushing in that direction. So now we've figured out that, all we have to do is figure out what the FX is, which is going to be the force of um, uh, D again on A, right? But then we also have to figure out what the angle here is, 38 degrees, because it's in the X direction. Uh, this is gonna be cosine 38 degrees. And then we can also add in um, the force of C on A, but you're gonna notice that that is the exact same force. So you can just literally just put two right there. So double that previous force that we found. And then we're gonna subtract the uh, this one. That's gonna be F of B on A. And that whole thing should equal zero. So we can clearly see that F B A is equal to double that. So we can even sort of set that part of the next thing here, FBA is just equal to uh, 2 times FDA cosine 38. And if we were to figure out FDA, that's just going to be equal to K times negative 3. Actually, let's get rid of the negatives here. We don't need those. 3.2 e to the negative 19 times, it's going to be times Q. Because, um, yeah. But we don't know Q. Um, we do know, however, this length here, L. Got to figure that out real quick. We can say, we can say that the cosine of 38 degrees is going to be equal to adjacent, which is D, which is 0 0.015 meters, divided by L, which is the hypotenuse. Shift that to the other side, do a little manipulation, and we should find that... 0.015 divided by cosine 38 is going to be equal to um, 0.019. That's the length of L. So that's what's going to go over here, 0.019 squared. And uh, let's go ahead and do our times 2 and our cosine 38 here so we don't mess that up. So this stuff on the right side. So 1.257e to the negative 5. And uh, then we can figure out what FBA is. So let's do that right here. That is simply going to be K times Q times 6.2e to the 19, 19 there, divided by D plus D. It's a little D plus big D squared. Happen to know what the little d is, it's going to be 0 0.015. Um, we could try to multiply that on the other side. Let's not forget there's a q over here just so that these q's will cancel. And I guess I should have left the k on that side. Honestly, it probably would have been easier to just cancel this out. So let's see if we can do some canceling out instead of, instead of using that solution we found over there. Because we figured that this is equal to 2k times 3.2 e to the negative 19 q divided by 0.19 squared cosine of 38. And we can see that q's cancel. We can see that the k's cancel. And if we multiply two times that, we actually get 6.4 e to the negative 19, which means that these two cancel and so all we're left with is literally that the cosine of 38 divided by 0 0.019 squared is equal to 1 over 0 0.015 plus d squared. And if we do the cross multiplication here, um, we'll 
find out that cosine 38 times this is going to be equal to 0 0.019 squared. Okay, so let's try to figure that out. Let's square that divided by cosine 38. What? And then, um, and then I could square it to answer. And so then I get this, this is 0 0.0, actually let's not do that one, I'll subtract. We'll get, uh, we'll get the answer for D real quick here. Just doing that on the calculator. D equals 6.4 e to the negative 3 meters. And there we go. Not too bad. That's what's going to make the net for us zero.